Hello everyone, thanks for joining me once again. Let's continue where we left off. Since we are here, might as well develop that film. Even though we do not need to develop any more film because we already got the trophy. But just for completeness. Third floor locker. DCM. Since we are already here, we can go up there and open that locker. I believe Mr. X is on the left. He's gonna go upstairs. care of him. Down there, just gonna come back up. Just trying to avoid Mr. X right now, trying to get him to walk around the circles. We're gonna go to this box. Let's get a green herb and heal ourselves. And we can put this away. Keep everything else. Where is he at? Let's 
guy. Should follow you in here. Place the large gear in here. That activates the stairs. Now you retrieve the gear. Go upstairs. Retrieve the small gear and then you're gonna place the large gear in, in this slot. Go back downstairs. Place the small gear in this lot. And this should activate the clock tower. I don't have to write a report on this. And now we're just gonna go back here and pick up one item. This is gunpowder large. That should clear this hallway and it does. Now we need to retrieve two items from here. This item. And this document which we have already seen. It's the repair plan. Now we're going to examine the box. This is the electronic part. So now I have two of them. This room should be blue. We just need to go out in the main hall here. Right there. Now remember there's a couple of guys in here and Mr. X, I don't hear him so he might not be here anymore. So just be careful going out. There's a guy down there. There should be one down here. Yep, and there should be a green herb right there. Take care of this guy. We're gonna open this door for the east storage room. And this guy should be dead because we killed him earlier. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom where we've been before. There shouldn't be anybody down here because we already killed him. boarded the window. We're gonna go into this door and open it. Portable safe. The 
in the document in here confiscation report make sure you make a note of those numbers 6 to 11 that's for the safe that's in the second floor waiting room and we have already read through this and this guy should have a gunpowder jump on this side in here there's some ammo We're going to discard this key. We no longer need it. And once we go out the door out here and make a right, Mr. X is going to come in. So be ready. right here that we just looked at it and it's 6 to 11 6 to 11 this gives a part for Matilda we're no longer using Matilda so we're just gonna put that in the box Just some inventory management. Don't need this. Put that away. We're gonna examine the portable safe. So in the portable safe is same as before. Whatever combination I use is, might not work for you. Everybody that plays this game has a different combination depending when you're playing it. So it's very random. So figure out your combination and the objective is to light up all the lights on the circle above on a counterclockwise fashion. And if you click on a button that's out of pattern, it's going to reset and you just have to restart again. We got a spare part and we're going to use the spare part to open the safety box and the safety box room but we need another one let's check our map we're done with the underground facility on the police station so we're going to go in the safety deposit box or I'm sorry, safety deposit room once we get the other key. For right now, this floor, first floor is complete. Second floor is complete. We'd have to get, um, we cannot get in the chief's office. This is a hard key. Some of these areas in here is for Claire. Uh, the third floor is complete and the fourth floor is also complete. So we're going to go back to the second floor. We need to get here into this linen room. That's where the other portable safe box is. And that's where the other keypad is. 
and we to enter this room we must have the diamond key which we do have this key right there so let's get to the second floor and get that right here and here is the portable same thing we're going to examine and solve it This is the other spare part. And now we have both spare parts that we can use downstairs. The entire floor is clear. We need to go into the safety deposit room and use this keypad and unlock it. is behind or is in front of us. Now we can open all the lockers. We're going to start with 203, then 208. Then we're going to do 102 and 103 and 106. One oh two. One oh three. Six, can remember. Now they should all be open. Roll of film. This room now should be blue. So we have completed all the rooms. And now we just have to go back to the jail. But we're going to develop the film. 
and do some inventory management. This is a storage locker terminal memo. We have already read through this. out here and take out the other electronic part and develop the film and this is the commemorative photo that tells us how to uh, unlock the redstone which we have already done let's do a save here and then we're gonna head down to the jail I don't know if he's up or down where he's at Sounds close. I'm just trying to get to the main hall. He got down here from the second floor that's a big mystery but it's all good we are done with him actually let's go we can't get there from here Let's pick up some ammo before we head out. We gotta go a different way because we can't get there from here. I'm just gonna make some more shotgun shells. And you make them by combining the yellow gunpowder with the blue gunpowder. Maybe he's behind us.
dish. Yeah, there's a lot of guys out here. They gotta fix this. Let's fix this. Do I have any more boards? Yeah, we got a few boards. This is necessary, but I'm boarding all the windows so we don't get any surprises here anymore. These guys are all dead. And let's make some more ammo. B-run is very different. I haven't done the B-run before. Just know more or less what needs to happen. Finding all these all these guys was I wasn't counting on it. Right. Now we know. Sarah should be all blue. trying to do is get in the cell and we're gonna use this items in here the electronic parts so on this one what you need to do is number one you do you move it once go across to number three you move it once Go down, roll and move this once. Move the third roll, number one, once. The blue here, you're gonna move it three times. And then run next to it on the right, you move it once. And then on the second roll, you move it once. And then you move it once. And that should give you a trophy as well. And we can check it out. Hardly any resistance. That's the trophy that you get for doing this in uh, 10 moves or less. And that uh, we took 10 moves to do this. Bitch. 
And this is the interview transcript. We have read through this before. It's basically everything that he just said. We do get the parking garage key card. Hmm. What are they after? And one more document, Ben's memo, which we have read it already. And now we need to just get out of here. Make sure you're loaded up and ready to rock and roll because Mr. X is gonna come out here and he's gonna want a piece of us. Then we'll come this way. There's Mr. X. Let him come in. Give me a break. When he comes in, just go around him. Twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Oh, you're gonna kill me. Nothing dies down here. I take it you have the key card. Yeah. And this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it, let's get out of here. Here's the key card. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. What about you? Trying to save the world? Yeah, well, someone's got to get word to the authorities. We need reinforcements to save this city. Roads out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Back here, we should find some grenades, at least a grenade, a long barrel for the shotgun, and we can combine. Then back here, some more ammo. 
letters to the shopkeeper, which we have already seen. And now the toughest part of the game. Don't move. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you are. You're gonna turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. Yeah, my daddy's here. Okay. okay. Those fucking things outside. <sighs> what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I'm sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Emma. privacy. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. That's a great part of the game, great part of the story. This is a great story. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. <sighs> this is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Sure as 
shall hope so. Not too late to turn back, Leon. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. Leon, up here. What the hell was... Just get up here. <sighs> Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. As scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! that from a scientist uh, Leon forget about me just go stop her before she gets away 
I'm right outside the facility, in pursuit of Annette. If it's not on her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. You can run, Annette, but you can't hide. Wow, hello there, Ada. Guess you'd be hiding a few things under that trench coat. It's secret weapon time. September inspection week one. We have gone through this already. Down to the end. Pick up some ammo. Down the stairs. Side left. Then a right. Then another right. On the container, make a left. And a right. Another right. Stay to the left, go all the way to the end. Pick up this ammo. Got this flash grenade. Let this guy come in. I'm gonna go around him. September inspection week two, we covered this already. And a lever. That should open down there. And inside there is an ID wristband. Bro. 
Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. And you won't die alone. You have a minute to get out of this room? Until October 1st, please return before this date. Not gonna happen. Everything is blue. Ada? Damn it. Find Ada. Ada? Where are you? This is a good place for us to save. Let's stop here and we'll continue on the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.